There's more breaking news which is coming in, a reaction coming in from Veer Savarkar's own family members. In fact, they have come out, slam Dinesh Kundu Rao's remarks. In fact, they say that they are going to pursue the matter legally as well against the Congress monthly. Watch this. See, basically, Congress is all out to defame Veer Savarkar to project the image of Nehru. So, first of all, because Nehru's uh, imprisonment was in palaces, Savarkar's was in Andaman, no leader other than uh, Lokmanya Tilak has been sent to jail for more than seven years at a stage. Rahul Gandhi, now he has been uh, given a summons in, from Pune. Process has been issued recently from Nashik also. And soon Mumbai also, we are saying to it that the court will... Uh, we already proceeded in the court and we expect court to issue summons to him in uh, next week. So Rahul Gandhi is now not alleging anything against Savarkar, and, but he has ordered his uh, ministers to uh, give false statement against Savarkar. First of all, this is all a big lie. Savarkar has said that cow is a useful animal and that's why because it was raised to the status of deity, but now Hindus are not, they are only uh, making the puja of cow, but they are not protecting the cow. So his original article was Go Palan Nave Ta Go Raksha Nave. So he was very emphatic about the Go Raksha. He was also a president of Go Raksha uh, 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 Samiti Adivations. Secondly, this has a historical meaning. In past, the, the uh, armies attacking India, they were having the herds of cows in front of them. And because the cows are there, our armies they, they never raise arms and they were defeated. So Savarkar said, well, there you have the family of Veer Savarkar coming out and saying that we are willing to now sue the Congress Mantri as well. If he continues to speak like this, we'll have to wait and see if there is going to be legal action which is going to follow. S. Prakash is joining us of the BJP as well. Mr. S. Prakash, your first reactions. It's not new, the Congress lashing out at Veer Savarkar, but I believe this is one of the first few times that we've had Congress leaders, ministers at that coming out and now saying that he consumed beef and he was a he was a fundamentalist. It is very unfortunate. Off late congressmen have developed a hatred towards the Veer Savarkar for for no reason. To try to please their masters, they circulate false information, baseless information, and they speak as though they are the expert in Indian history. Mr. Dinesh Kundrao should focus on the dengue and other pandemic is, uh, is affected in the state as a health minister. Instead of that, he is busy in circulating false information, misleading information about a freedom fighter. At least on the Gandhi Jayanti day, people expect congressmen to speak truth. Other days, it, it is a habit for them. Why don't they respect their own idol? and speak right. truth on that day. Mm. Interesting. So for them, Savarkar is a beef eater and a fundamentalist, but the Congress minister has also said that Jinnah was not a fundamentalist. Thank you so much, Mr. S. Prakash, for joining us with your thoughts on this. That's BJP's first reaction. But with that, we're going to be slipping into a short break. Don't go anywhere.